Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Commodity TV and a new episode of our online interview series. Today, I have the pleasure to talk to Fury Gold Mines. With me here in the chat are Tim Clark, the CEO of Fury Gold Mines, and Brian Atkinson, the Senior Vice President Exploration. Thanks for the time and welcome to our show, guys. Hey, Mark. Great to be here again. Thank you very much. So, um, Fury Gold Mines, last time we've spoken together was at PDAC together with Brian. And that's almost four weeks ago. So, right. lots happened. The first quarter is almost over. And in March, you were very busy. So what's going on in the company, Tim? Well, you know, I think you and uh, Brian had a quick conversation at PDAC about uh, our acquisition of uh, the rest of the property, the joint venture property they have with Newmont. Um, I think what's interesting here is that um, there is a, this big overlaying uh, Newmont sale, announced sale of assets in Canada. In particular, for us, is the Eleanor mine is up for sale. And uh, we own basically now the, the big property to the south, which is a lot of exploration land. And um, uh, it's been sort of our focus to try and get this. It, historically, it was owned by Newmont, Asman, and us. Um, and it's been basically tabled for a decade. And now we have full access and We've already kicked off a drill program, which is ongoing as of, <clears throat> I believe, yesterday. And, and uh, it, we're drilling up near the Sirius uh, part of the border. And uh, so we're excited to get out early. We typically don't get out this early in the year. Um, so the hope is, is that, you know, we start to develop some interest that there could be, you know, potential path for consolidation down the road with a new buyer of this Eleanor mine. I think it's exciting. Yeah, for sure. So I just read in the newspaper a couple of days ago that the first mine of Newmont is now in interest of Chinese in Ghana, so in Africa. But all these six mines are very interesting, so that are producing mines. So, And as you said, around, um, around the Eleanor mine, you are the biggest landholder with Eleanor South, as well as with Eau Claire. So it could be very interesting for consolidation. Yep. And we're still trading at a pretty good price here. So, you know, I think, look, the, where you make the money in this space, in the junior space, is either you discover something new and fabulous or you wait for the flows to come back into the junior market. And they've been out for a long time. And what we've done the last two and a half years is just make ourselves what I think is you know, arguably best in class in the junior space, because we still have that Dolly Varden position that's worth over 40 million bucks. Um, and we have uh, several big properties. Um, we've also um, announced some, you know, good geochem studies that have come out on these properties that uh, lend itself that we could have really uh, exciting exploration throughout the year. And then we're also going to spend some money and go back up to Committee Bay, which is up in Nunavut, and that's a 300-kilometer greenstone belt. Um, and we are starting to see more interest with companies coming in and looking at that property, uh, more so than we have in the last several years. So we're going to go up and put a small uh, survey project together next summer and um, try and bring that forward. So a uh, lot to do. Great. <laughs> And I, I just saw the press release that you sold some shares of Dolly Varden in order to get the cash for um, Eleanor South. So what was the condition about that? So uh, essentially, we, we wanted to raise some hard dollars and we wanted to pay for the property. So we spent $4.3 to uh, buy both the joint venture and we bought some shares in a company called Sirios, which is on the northeast side. So we own uh, right now about 10.4% of Sirius and we own the entire Dolly Varden position. And then we also cash back up. So we've got a little over $6 million in, in the treasury. And then we've got obviously the still remaining 40 million or so in Dolly Varden. Amazing. So 
also when you're around uh, running around a PDAC and you have a chat with all these exploration companies, so many companies are running out of money or are <laughs> looking uh, for money and you are in the best position just in order to yeah to handle everything. So that's it, it's, very it's, unique. It, it is unique, Mark. And I, and I think that the first thing when we go, when I go into a lot of the meetings around the United States in particular, um, I don't think people expect to have a company as financed as us. Yeah. And, and at the same time, um, you know, I think we as a management team have demonstrated that we're good with our money. And that's not always the case either. Uh, we're, we're very frugal and focused on how we spend. We've taken the cost down by 50% over the last two years from the previous management. Um, and I come from a philosophy of having worked on the capital market side where I really feel like um, I have a fiduciary duty, duty to the investors. My goal is to put as much money into the ground as I possibly can that makes the most sense for them in such a way that they would want it to be done. And um, I brought in a, a couple of my big relationships from my time on, on the street and uh, they're backing the company. And I feel a lot of obligation as well as my family. I've gotten a lot of my family into this. So, um, you know, it won't be a, a, you know, a fun holiday next year if I don't produce. <laughs> and, uh, and uh, but I think it's exciting. I think we've really put ourselves in a real good position to win with lots of options. Um, this, this, I think this, the street is underestimating how big a deal it was to buy out Newmont. Yeah. I think they made a mistake personally. I, I don't think they should get it given us away. Um, and we got it for only $3 million, which, you know, I think it was five or six years ago to buy a third of the property was over 6 million. And we got half of it for three effectively. And it could be the linchpin to get end up getting this company sold should someone of real interest come in and buy Eleanor. And if you're going to walk in and spend four or $500 million buying the Eleanor mine, which is one of the bigger mines in Canada, um, with a mine life of only five or six years as it's allocated right now, they're going to want to extend that mine life. And the only way to do it is to find more gold around the mine. And we own a significant part of that property and we have a, a very strong control over what's going on at Sirios. And um, I think as an investment standpoint, if you believe in the consolidation story, that as gold prices go up, that companies look to acquire land packages, we're, we're uh, uh, a particularly interesting position, especially because we're so cheap. Um, we Our market cap's only 83 million and we've got almost two thirds of our money in cash and cash equivalents. And we've got three major land packages. And I also think if you look at Dolly Varden, they now have $25 million in cash in the treasury to do a fulsome project this summer. And Hecla has gone from 5% to 10% and they're now 15.6. <clears throat> and I know, I know they're, they're thinking about it. So, um, you know, you, you watch, you just have to sit here and watch the pathway of what Phil Baker and Hecla is doing. And he's positioning his company to buy it. Now, maybe they don't, but I, I think there's a strong indication that that could happen. And um, uh, with that in mind, we're, we're well on our way. Yeah, now, sounds... I don't want to take up all the airtime, Mark. You know, Brian's <laughs> here too, and he's got a lot of good things to share probably in what we're doing in the drilling. Yes, exactly. So that would be my next question to Brian. So what is the exploration program for this year in all of your projects, Brian? Yeah, you know, Tim outlined some of it there. Uh, you know, we're we're drilling now. Uh, it's collared last night and on the first hole for 2024. So cool. pretty exciting on that. And uh, with that, we just saw an opportunity that there was a drill, you know, right across the property boundary that was wrapping up. And uh, we planned to drill this in the summer using helicopters and everything. And, you know, so we're being a lot more efficient using a ground-based drill, getting in there, you know, several months ahead of when we were planning to. So uh, you know, and we've got this this zone of mineralization. It's over two kilometers long by nearly a kilometer wide um, with some really good historical hits in it that uh, we're looking to expand on. So, 
pretty excited there. And then we've got, you know, the, the biogeochem anomaly uh, that we, we came out earlier, um, just after, well, during PDAC, I guess, just after we spoke there, um, which, you know, is starting to look a lot like uh, Eleanor. It's, it's in the right geology. It's got the right structure. It's got the right geophysics. It's got the right pathfinder elements associated with it. And the anomaly is 250 times background. Um, you know, in the past, we've gone out and been excited about five times background, you know, particularly in the Arctic where it's uh, till covered. And now we've got these anomalies that are 250 times background. So uh, pretty pumped to go out and, and it finish up that grid and then and then get get drilling it, um, you know, probably next winter sort of thing. Um, Committee Bay, we're going to go. We got, you know, we had a great hit up there and it un really unlocked the targeting on the belt uh, along these shear zones, sub parallel to the iron formations. We got all these orphan gold and till anomalies that have never been explained by drilling. So we're going to go up there and just, uh, you know, walk some of the ground that, you know, in the past, you know, really focused on iron formation. And we're going to go out and look at these meta sediments and in the shear zones and, uh, and, try to you know put some good drill targets together up there and then Eau Claire we've got the Percival the serendipity trend where you know we did some again biogeochem sampling last year and we've got some really great anomalies out there along that that entire trend that we want to get after um, and then we're you know within the next two to three weeks putting out our our new resource on the Eau Claire deposit so you know lots lots happening lots on our plate and uh, just glad to be out there drilling again yeah Great, very busy. So just for me, for my understanding, as I um, look into your presentation here, the map for a Newmont, Eleanor Mine, Eleanor South, and uh, here in the West, Sirius Resource. So the project of um, Sirius is called Chichu Deposit, Chichu. And yep. you have right at the border this high-grade intercepts, this uh, drill results with 36 gram per ton um, gold over... Uh, 0 0.8 meters or this uh, six meters with 14.7 gram gold uh, on the other side at Sirius the, the deposit is just um, 0.94 grams mm -hmm. uh, 1.4 uh, million uh, in the indicated so do you think you will get more high grade drill results there or what's your expectation there yeah, you know, when we look at at that and, uh, you know, if you if you pulled up some of the historical uh, serial drilling, um, they, they have hit some high grade stuff. And, and just recently they put out 0.8 meters at 105 grams just on the other side of, of where we're going to be drilling. So there is a high grade uh, network of, of quartz veins, structurally controlled quartz veins throughout this tonalite. And uh, we we definitely feel there's there's good potential for a lot more high grade on on our side of the the property boundary there, and we know there's a big volume of you know low grades, similar grades to um, to what the Chichu deposit is. Uh, but what we're focusing on with this drill program is trying to better define the controls on that that higher grade mineralization. Like you said, like you know 14 grams over six meters. We've got uh, you know, hits as high as 294 grams uh, over a meter, right? So uh, we want, really want to kind of try to piece that together and, and see what's what's going on with the high grade. The low grade's there, it's great. Uh, you know, and, and only a small part of the, the overall Chichu tonal has actually been explored. So we've got a really nice soil anomaly off to the west that, uh, you know, 500 meters away from any other drilling that... Uh, has got some really high grade soil anomalies within it and we're we're excited to be putting some holes into that as well cool how many meters do you want to drill we're going to drill about 2000 in this first program we're kind of sandwiched between you know the on you know spring is oncoming very quickly in the in the area and uh you know there's a a, a traditional sort of cree time they call it goose break where the goose migration comes through and there's a there's a two-week uh you know, hiatus on exploration and, and mining activities in the region. So we're going to drill about 2,000 meters between now and and um, make sure we're demobilized ahead of the, the goose break. Cool, perfect. So, so, Mark, so Mark, basically we had some flow from last year that we didn't spend. Mm -hmm. And so we're using it now in this one month um, sort of early uh, drill program that we weren't expecting to get out there this quickly. But we were able to utilize Sirius's camp 
and get onto the property and save ourselves some money and get out earlier. Um, and so we're hopefully going to have results earlier than, than expectations. Perfect. So new resource for Eau Claire coming soon. Then drill program just started yesterday. News are coming as soon as possible. Then you are going up in the north for Committee Bay. So yep. all projects are very busy and yep. the investors and we'll, like we'll me, watch. I'm an investor as well. So can looking forward. <laughs> And then, uh, you know, what your investors should pay attention to is what the news comes out of this consolidation yeah. uh, on the Newmont sales. So that's going to stir the pot and it's going to stir, I think, some consolidation in the industry. For sure. And we will keep our investors posted with all these news yep. about Newmont, especially around your area, for sure. Great. Perfect, guys. Then thanks for your time. It's always a pleasure to have a talk with you. Fury is a great company. And nowadays with all these going on with this consolidation, it's even better. So all people who are not invested yet, check out the company. We will, uh, we will give you some more information if you want. Check out the company. Thank you. Bye-bye.